Dear students, today I decided to uh, teach some phonetics so we can see how to pronounce in Spanish correctly the J and the G or the J and G, right? Letras G y J, that is letters G and J. This is G and J. You have to try to pronounce the, the sound right? Not the smooth sound of the English H. It's not, it's not like an exhalation, but it's more like as if it were um, scratching from the, the, behind the, the throat, right? Like that. Both of them. And there is a difference between J and G, right? Because while J always is pronounced right G has two uh, sounds the same as in English right when the G is followed by an E or an I it's the J sound right G G like in English J G right and when the G or G is followed by O or by U or by A, right? A, O, U, A, O, U. It is the G sound, like in English. Ga, go, gu. Okay? Um, so let's, let's begin with uh, these examples of uh, words that begin with J, with J, right? We have juego. That is game. Un juego, a game. Vamos a jugar un juego. Let's play a game. You see, this is juego, juego. Scratching the throat. It's not the exhalation of the H, the English H. Jugar is to play, the verb. Remember that Spanish verbs always end with R, right? And we have three groups of verbs those that end in AR, those that end in ER, and those that end in IR, okay? This belongs to the group of verbs that end in AR, jugar. And ajedrez, ajedrez, chess, the game chess. Okay, these are some examples on the, with the letter J, J. Here we have some examples with letter G, G, right? Sounding the same as J, right? When it is followed by letter E or by letter I, right? E. Gengibre, that's ginger. You see, here we have the same sound twice with letter G. Genjibre, genjibre. Girasol, this is sunflower. Girasol, girasol. Schedule is agenda, agenda. And to schedule, the verb is agendar. 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 And letter G, as we said, it has the sound G if it's followed by A or by O or by U, right? And has one more particularity. When, if we want to pronounce the G or G sound, right? If we want to pronounce a G sound, but for an I and for an E, we have to uh, write a letter U in between, okay? Like here. So, if we, if we write this, it's G, but I want to say G, right? So I have to use a U in between and this U here, this letter U is mute. So this is not GUE, this is GE. 
Same thing here. This it this is pronounced he. But I want to pronounce gi, right? So I put I add a u in between and this is not gui. This is gi. Okay? The u is mute. So this is guerra or war. Guerra. Giso for a stew to eat. Gi so. Then we have gaviota. Gaviota. This is seagull. Okay. Here we don't have the mute, the muted u, right? But uh, for a, o, and u, it's the same g sound, right? Uh, same as in English. Gorilla. Gorilla for uh, gorilla. And agua for water. Agua. Here, uh, the U is not mute, right? We do pronounce the U. Agua. That is because after the U we do not have the letter, neither letter E nor letter I. Okay? So it's not a muted U. This is agua. It's a U like here. The G followed by A or O or U is G. Agua, water. And what happens if we want to pronounce the, the U followed by an E or an I? For example, we want to, we want to pronounce in Spanish GUE or GUI, right? We cannot hear because the rules uh, specify that this U is is muted. This is guerra. Giso, muted U. So we use these two dots here on top of the U that in Spanish is called diéresis. Diéresis. Diéresis is the name for these two dots on top of letter U in Spanish. And the diéresis is only exclusively used for the letter U in this case, right? We, don't, we do not have uh, the diéresis, the two dots, on top of other vowels like German, for example, that has the umlaut on the A or the O or the U, okay? And how do we use this? Here we have two examples. For example, pinguino, a penguin, yes? Pinguino, here, we have U and I, okay? Pinguino, and the U is not muted. If we omit the, the, the diéresis, the two dots, this would be pinguino, right? We would be not pronouncing the letter U. But we do want to pronounce it, we want to say pinguino. So we add these two dots. Same for unguento. Unguento means ointment. Unguento, as you can see, we are pronouncing clearly the letter U because it has the two points, the diéresis. Unguento. If we omitted these two dots, this would be un gento. We would be muting the letter U. Okay, so we have more, uh, many more words have it with all these cases, but this is enough for you to see how to pronounce the G and the J in all the cases. Letter J is very easy because J always pronounces right like as if you had a you were uh, scratching your throat okay and uh, okay so here that's all for these uh, two letters we will probably see some more uh, Spanish letters that may be a bit difficult for pronunciation in English okay so this is the end for today's lesson have a nice day